Hi there and welcome to another episode on Rod Care TV. I'm your host Captain Rugwash and today I want to talk to you about a rug that's just come into our uh, rug cleaning studio that is absolutely beautiful. It's called a Kashan rug and it's approximately 150 miles south of Tehran in Iran. So it's a really, really nice rug. It's a tree of life rug, so what you've got, I've got photos across the bottom. I'll put loads of photos on so you can see it. Unfortunately, I can't actually hold it up at the same time. I'm looking away from the camera because it's laid on the floor in front of me so I can just talk you through the rug. Um, it's a gorgeous rug, it's got a red field with a blue main border. They used these colours mainly before 1970. After 1970 they started to change the colour uh, palette around a bit. But um, this rug is probably about 1950s, 1960s according to the owner and where it comes from. Um, as you can see in the middle um, is a lovely little medallion. It's got a nice little picture of a scene with a building, um, gorgeous blue river running through it. Um, again you can see a lot of a brash. A brash is where and they're starting to weave and they run out of a certain colour and so they'll change the, um, the wool to the next set of wool and it's a slightly different shade. So as you can see going across the middle you've got quite a few different shades of red on it. Um, again there's loads of pictures we've got deer in there there's um, peacocks lovely vases with flowers in it we've got birds everywhere um, the border's really nice actually inside the borders there's loads of pictures of um, scenes so we've got buildings again in there so overall this is a really really nice rug that i've had um, to clean unfortunately the owner's cat decided to um, pee on the rug so i've had to deal with that get all the um, odor out and um, the stain actually did actually come out alright. One of the main things we had to concentrate on this rug was um, the wefts on the back that go from left to right are actually a blue dye, bluey purpley dye. So what that means if I over wetted it that dye would have come out onto the fringe and may have come up through the rug onto the pile um, causing a lot of damage. Um, another thing we had to um, be careful of is the red dye and um, that could have bled as well um, so I completely tested the rug first, made sure it was all colour fast and so when I got water on it, it wasn't going to um, bleed or anything like that. Um, so yeah, this is a lovely rug, it's one of the best ones I've had in um, our studio for a long time. thought I'd share it with you today, so um, have a look at the photos. If you've got any questions about these rugs, then please feel free to write a comment across the bottom. There's a really good website out there that um, is run by a friend of mine called Barry O'Connell and um, he's got loads of information on all all these kinds of rugs. Um, he's got two websites if you want to go on to one it's PersianCarpetsGuide.com and his other one is SpongoBongo.com so if you go on to those websites you can find out a load more about this rug. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.